now Andrea is also going to win some time because she can push her pawn forward and attack the black knight at the same time. Knight back and then... Yeah, I'm not sure how Andrea should continue forward though. I guess knight to f3, but then black is going to get some counterplay pointing his rook together with the knight against the e4 pawn. But computer really likes white's position. And it's not too surprising because when you have two pawns standing next to each other like this, you control both the, the light squares and the dark squares in the center of the board. And, and black is not super aggressive with really any of their pieces can play like this and just try and centralize everything. Centralizing doesn't really seem like Andrea's style. She is more of a bang bang everyone up into the attack kind of player. But let's uh, let's see how she approaches this position. The the good news is that she's not going to create that horrendous weakening of the G4 square, it seems. Because now she's going to be able to play pawn h4. And now the benefit of Andrea not having been super aggressive with her h-pawn is that if the knight tries to come to the g4 square, it's so easy for us to kick the knight away. Whereas in a similar game Andrea had previously, she went h4 first and then f4. And this I really didn't like as it allowed her opponent to get this outpost for the knight. An outpost is a square you're controlling with your pawn and then there's no none of the opponent's pawns that can be positioned to attack your knight out uh, or knight or bishop or whatever. But in general outposts are often occupied by the knights. <laughs> 